Today, we're gonna to learn the seven biggest mistakes made in probate real estate, and more importantly, how do you avoid them? Let's go. This is David Klein Lovett, broker owner, next home, first choice realty, hopefully yours. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell because we'll notify you every time we produce a new video and put it online because we're going to give you valuable and entertaining information on real estate probate and uh, Costa Mesa, Newport and surrounding area each and every week. So let's get started. First, I want to give my condolences if you've lost uh, a loved one recently and also acknowledge you for taking on the responsibility of handling this state. All right, let's get to it. The seven biggest mistakes in probate real estate and how to avoid them. One is not having the proper guidance to help you through the probate process. I'd recommend get a probate attorney, not any attorney, a probate attorney, and also a CPA or an attorney that does both. And thirdly, somebody like me that is specializing in the probate process. I can help you with a lot more than just selling your home. I actually assembled a team that can help you through every step of the way. So number one is not having the proper guidance. Two is not knowing how the probate process works. It's complicated. Fortunately, I have a colleague who's assembled two great documents that can help you immensely. One is a probate timeline, so you know exactly what's happening and when. And two are, are all of the duties of a personal representative. They are easy to understand, not like a lot of the other ones you might see, and easy to follow and will help you understanding how the probate process works because you may not know do i need to file a petition do i need an attorney uh what are all of the things do i need do i need to sell the house you may not know you know do i need to find the will do i need to find um the a living trust by the way you can get by if you don't find those but it's good to have them so not knowing how the probate process works can be a big liability. So if with just those two documents I can give you, gonna help you out tremendously. Number three is selecting the wrong service providers to help you through the process and get the home sold and keep the mortgage current. Otherwise it's gonna go into foreclosure. So you, you may wanna liquidate some of the assets so you can either get the property ready for sale, keep or and or keep the mortgage up to date. There's really three types of sources of um, uh, assets. There's personal property like art and, and jewelry and things like that, and furniture. Two would be stocks and bonds, investments. And three would be the real property, the house. So if it's the house, you'd want a, a realtor to help you with that that specializes in probate real estate. If it's personal property, you'd want like an auction house or some company that specializes in selling um, the personal property. Um, so you want, you want to do that, um, a state company. And secondly, if it's uh, the stocks and bonds, you want a financial consultant, professional person to can handle it, to liquidate some of those assets so you can fix the property up, get it ready for sale and or keep the mortgage up to date. All right. That's number three. Number four would be thinking that the process takes just a few weeks. It's actually quite complicated. And what can really jam it up is if the heirs don't agree, you know, brothers and sisters and cousins and that kind of thing. So you want to really, if you can, get somebody that can help you with that, find that living trust, find that will, take care of things, get some professional advice, professional guidance, so you don't have the heirs arguing over things that you know you could have taken care of at day one or day two when you're at day seven or week seven or week eight or week nine so thinking it'll just take a few um weeks is a mistake that would be mistake number four number five is not securing the estate's personal property if you are the personal representative or no one that you want to advise you got to take care of all of the assets of the estate probably the, the house, it's probably all the, the personal property, you know, the furniture, the artwork, the jewelry, all of that needs to be secure. 
I would suggest taking pictures of every, everything, maybe take a video and changing the locks, changing the locks to help secure it. Because unfortunately you're responsible. You have a fiduciary responsibility, which is the highest and utmost. So you want to take care of So that's number five is not securing the personal property of the estate. Number six is leaving the property uninsured or not even insured. Again, you've got that fiduciary relationship. Unfortunately, you've taken on the responsibility or the personal representative has, and that person is responsible to make sure that the property is insured or not underinsured. Because if something happens, if something is stolen, if there's a natural disaster of some kind, a fire, things like that, that it is insured. You want to make sure, and it's so easy to forget that, like, what is this, a grandma had it insured? Well, maybe not, or maybe, certainly it wasn't up to date. So you want to make sure, and it doesn't cost that much to make sure you have adequate insurance for the personal property, for the property, and it costs a whole lot if you, there's a loss and it can't be replaced. So leaving it uninsured or underinsured is mistake number six. And number seven is attempting to sell the property without a full understanding of the real estate market, especially like anytime really, but especially right now, it's changing literally daily. So you want someone who can help you with that, that can give you a detailed report, not just on what the property will sell for, whatever today is, but also at time of death. Usually the probate process needs both. So you're gonna need a real estate agent who specializes in the probate process. They can give you both sets of values. So that's it for now. We'll see you next week. And right here, you can see, there's a link right there and that'll take you to a website that is completely dedicated to the probate process. And you can get a free book. This goes into more detail of what we just went into, the seven biggest mistakes in probate real estate and how to avoid them. Again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell. Leave a comment so I know what you think about the channel. Share with your friends. Give it two th thumbs up and we'll see you again next week. And one last time, my condolences and I just want to just acknowledge you for taking on what you've taken on. God bless.